today we're going to talk about a number of topics that should ease a third-year medical student's transition to real medicine. And I thought of, it, it was interesting because it was very easy to come up with the topics. Uh, it struck me immediately the things that uh, I would want the students to know. So the first suggestion that I have for the second year students ready to go on to the floors as third year students is to think about the lessons learned about basic physical diagnosis, history taking and actually doing the exam. Think about the lessons learned, the focus that's needed, and start your rotations on the floor, not to forget what you've done before, but to actually work with those areas to make them more efficient, both from a time standpoint, and also to start incorporating the things that are completely new. And the things that are new are really very interesting. The things that are new are uh, abnormal findings on physical exams, the first and second year students only have standardized patients except for maybe one or two visits to the hospital. And in that regard, they don't really see abnormal findings and know how to incorporate them into their workup, into their diagnostic algorithm. And the best way to be able to deal with those abnormal findings is to have your format, your structure down, and to continue polishing that. So I think the first thing that I would say is, is to use all the skills that you've learned and heighten them. Adding in the abnormal findings, keeping the focus, l keeping the efficiency, and learning how to uh, even be more efficient. What you need to start doing is, is you start, you start to learn that you can't do everything all the time and you start to have to have a feel for what you're going to do and also how to incorporate portions of the exam. So you're never going to do a 45 minute exam uh, head to toe every single time. You need to be able to do that, but most importantly, you need to be able to incorporate different portions of the exam in an efficient fashion. So you would never do an H-E-E-N-T exam and not be able to literally slide your hands efficiently into doing a lymph node exam of the neck and then completing the thyroid exam and the carotid exam and the jugular venous distension exam. This is something that you really have to work on, that efficiency. The thoroughness coupled with the efficiency. So don't forget what you've learned so far and really, you know, fine tune it. And think about, the other thing is, is that it makes your life much easier because you're not always behind. You're going to have sick patients, you're going to have a lot of responsibilities, you're going to have families you want to speak to. You can't do that effectively if you're not efficient on the other things. So don't let these abilities slip away.